Grant Hotel Carriage House. My name is Maxine Siegel and I'm an educator here at the mansion. The carriage house is built on a man-made slope. This kind of construction is very popular on Kirchner Estates where there is a full view of the mansion that is smartly hid in the basement below where livestock and other cattle reside. Okay, our carriage house was restored in 1992. It's the only carriage house that's been restored to its original form. Come on, let's go inside and take a look. Carriage house is a 19th century version of the family garage. It housed all the carriages, the horses, and the sleighs, and all the tools needed to keep this operation going. A family of this stature had fine carriages, much like this one. The Bartos had two carriages and six horses to accommodate the large family that lived in the mansion. As you might imagine, there were no modern heating systems, so they would take a small foot heater into the coach with them for warmth. The carriage on display here it dates back to 1850. It was made by the James Rule Company, located in Albany, New York. The carriages needed to be regularly greased, and the wooden spoked wheels and axles needed to be checked regularly for warts and cracks. This was usually the responsibility of the stable boy under the supervision of the coachman. He had a huge job cleaning the stables of the horses, washing, feeding at many intervals during the course of the day. Here in the tack room, we find the bits and the harnesses and all the tools needed to do the job at hand. The stalls of today are much wider because the horses don't get as much exercise and they need more space to move around. They got a lot of exercise in the 1800s pulling the carriages, having riders all day. So they really didn't need larger space to move around in, unlike today. The hay was stored in the floor above, and the stable boy would use his pitchfork and pour it down into the trough for the horses. Notice the gutters on either side of the stalls. That was the bathroom in the day for the horses. The liquid waste would be swept into the gutters and would go out through the hole into buckets down below and emptied out somewhere on the grounds. The sleigh was a form of transportation in the snow, but it was also used for fun family outings. The horses were outfitted with sleigh bells. Sleigh bells were worn by the horses as safety measure to avoid collision with other sleighs. And they also had a lovely, delightful sound. The whole operation of the carriage house was overseen by the coachman. The coachman was generally a big, strong, muscular male who had the strength to manage the team of horses and all of the traveling loads they might encounter. He wore handsome clothes reflective of the stature of the family in the mansion. Of course, after all, he was sitting on top of the coach in full view of their friends, and family and the public. 